Welcome to introduction to image processing in Python, which can be subdivided in six steps. This tutorial provides an introduction to basic image processing techniques using the OpenCV computer vision library and some standard data analysis libraries in Python. Step 1, load the dependencies. This section loads some required libraries used in this notebook, NumPy, Pandas, CV2, Skimage, Pill, Matplotlib. It can be done by the following code. Let's load the dependencies on Google Colab. Use the code that was shown earlier. It might take few seconds to import dependencies. Step 2, read image from URLs. In this step we will read images from URLs, and display them using OpenCV in Google Colab. We will use following code for displaying image. Now let's try it on Google Colab. This are the URL, of an image. Please note the difference when reading image in RGB and BGR format. The default input color channels are in BGR format for OpenCV. But, here in this programming code it shows both type, because in other image BGR format is changed to RGB. Step 3, Image Contours and Histograms. We will be using following codes. Check the image matrix data type. Checks the height of image. Check the width of image. Check the number of channels of the image. Let's try it on Google Colab. We will get the answer. Let's display the histogram of all the pixels in the color image. Display the histogram of R, G, B channel we could observe that the green channel has many pixels in 255, which represents the white patch in the image. Now let's try to make a gray image. Here, we successfully got a gray image of a dog. Now let's plot the histogram of the gray image. We could observe that the frequency of the image histogram has decreased by one third of the histogram of color image. Finding image contour of the grayscale image by using the matplotlib contour. Step 4, Grayscale Transform and Histogram Equalization. Grayscale transformation provides some examples of conducting mathematical transformations of the grayscale image. Let's move on with Google Colab. This is an inverse operation of the grayscale image. You could see that the bright pixels become dark, and the dark pixels become bright. Another transform of the image, after adding a constant. All the pixels become brighter and a hazing-like effect of the image is generated. The lightness level of the gray image decreases after this step. Naming the function of histogram equalization and apply the function on your dark image to increase the contrast. We could observe that the contrast of the black background has increased. Trying to visualize the histogram of the image after histogram equalization and before histogram equalization. This is result of before histogram equalization. Now we will see how histogram will look after equalization. This is how the graph looks like, after equalization. Step 5, Fourier Transform of Gray Images. A Fourier transform is used to find the frequency domain of an image. Let's move on with the code. It blurs the grayscale image by a Gaussian filter with kernel size of 10 and transform the image to frequency domain. Step 6, Finding Edges by High Pass Filtering in FFT. This section demonstrates conducting a high pass filter to remove the low frequency component, resulting in a sharpened image which contains the edges. Remove low frequencies with a rectangle size of 10. Thank you.